Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Sherry Miles back with some more Yorick gameplay. Just come on the top one. Sure, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Of course, uh, got Yorick Allowy brand games going up. Got live streams on YouTube and Twitch. Sure, check them out if you haven't. You know, is pretty a little dodge in there to dodge the the problem with like dodging in to Camille W to get like the the lower damage and not heal her part you get auto attack usually so it kind of sucks but I'll heal back with the Q's get some graveyards built out I just want to get level two so I can land an E okay okay Let's see if I can get a good E here on one of these when she goes for like a minion it's a good time to throw it nice push for push. I love York. I'm gonna be going Ravenous Hydra and uh, into Hole Breaker. Absolute amazing champ to. to... Yeah. W. Whoa! Got these ghosts here. Holy moly! I didn't realize she was running Ignite. That means she doesn't have Flash, so kind of okay. Her E is gonna come up soon. I just wanna be careful about that. Like she's kind of looking for it, I think. Yeah. Okay, okay. Whew. Yeah, because she lands E, I mean, I'm definitely dead to like E into W. Oh my god. Holy. Did it work? Come on, Yi. Let's go. Oh, thank you, Yi. Oh my god. I was really relying on that Q healing to keep me alive there. Oh. Okay. You know what? Okay. That's fine. I should have, uh, I should have thought about the Echo follow up, but. It's okay. I'm gonna go with this uh, Vampiric Scepter. Vampiric Scepter first. It's kind of nice to help you with sustain in lane. So I can get back and help this Yi. Go Yi. Hey, it doesn't run up. want to run up into Camille, and that's fair. I'll try to run down, maybe. Yi and Ari are kind of set up. I, I mean, I'm just not really strong in the river. Camille's way stronger. I need ghouls. I need setup. Of course, we're trying to get to level 6. That looks like she's come way, way, way stronger. Get a little dodge in this. W's. Camille really likes to poke with the W's. Let's see. Okay, all good. I wasn't really going to follow her. I just wanted to pressure her a little bit. Be annoying. I'm running Conquer, Overheal, Bloodline, and uh, I think Kuri Bra. Kind of doing a little pseudo, like, what's called the Wife Steel build, where you build a lot of... Uh... I'm not going to do that full build. You build, like, Bloodthirster... Vampire except or um Ravenous Hydra and you go for heavy he healing because the way life seal works on York where the E ghouls jump cause a life seal effect. And then also your maiden uh, um suck does a uh, life seal. So kind of like a lot of interesting little mechanics around uh, York and life seal, but I will not. Ooh, hello. I don't have any ghoul. I wish I'd brought some ghouls with me. But Oh, he's gonna recall there. Maybe I can stop his back one more time. Oh, oh not not quick enough. That's all right. Wait, she's gonna go in? Oh, that's annoying. I would have. I mean, I could have flanked mid there, but like, why does Lissandra ever e in there? Kind of weird. That's all right. The whole time, like the wave was just kind of building up, pushing into us. We're gonna be a little bit behind on experience just because we missed some minions during that that Camille hasn't missed. But I think overall it's fine. Like, we, we slowed down the jungle's ability to recall. This gives our jungler a little bit of a, a priority. Our jungler already has that one kill. Hopefully we can just keep Yi snowballing. Trying to stop Camille. Oh, no, she didn't. Dang. Missed a few CS trying to be annoying to the enemy team. Probably not worth. Yeah, well, we can CS here. Oh, attack speed? No. Let's go. Get our goals up. Let's push. I like Hydra into, uh, or I like Ravenous Hydra on Old York first. It's just, it lets you just do so much more as far as pushing quicker. You you sustain yourself a lot more. You can really like snowball York. I love to build, I like I love to play York. York reminds me of like this, like what, the way we used to play in Heroes of New Earth where you're very like, your carries are very optimized for gold all the time. Not necessarily fighting or positioning on the map. It was all about ma maximizing gold per minute. Now, in League, you don't really see Gopher Venet, and I feel like that means people don't prioritize it as much. It's like this funny effect where if you could see the Gopher Venet, I think people would prioritize it more. But on York, I still like to play like this very, very efficient farming strategy. Just Because basically all I'm trying to do is just snowball to, to late game, try to get to level 16 with as much gold as I can. And I can farm so effectively and create so much macro pressure using ghouls. You know, I can farm Krug super effectively. Like... 
It's just, it feels so good to play this champ this way. So I think other York players are probably much more aggro. They're probably much more fight heavy. But for me, I like to just, you know, if you watch the stream, I like to drink some wine, throw out some York up, listen to some chill music. And it is like such a comfy vibe. It's cozy vibes. So. Just building towards our Hydra next. This reset means that the wave will push into us. I have ghosts. We got E nearby, so I'm not too sad. Ooh. We do a lot of damage because we land that. Oh, what the heck? Bruh. Oh, if that E hits, I almost have kill pressure. I was really passive there. Um, just because she has ult and ignite. And I don't want to get too complacent. Like. This is pretty free kill. I don't need to be super aggro. Wall just to be annoying. Take turret aggro. Let him take turret aggro. He's gonna reset. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah. I mean, Camille's pretty low at that point. It's pretty easy dive. I just wanna. We wanna make sure we don't mess up too much with the turret aggro bouncing. He wants to go for the whole thing. I'm for it. It takes a while, but. Hopefully Camille doesn't have teleport. She shouldn't actually. It should be about the same as mine. This turret is so tanky. Look at it. We're doing no damage. Oh, we're whittling it down. Yeah, if I were like a Lowe, I'd not be happy with this. But Yorick, Yorick's pretty good at leveraging even early pressure, uh, early tier ones going down. What you really want to look for on Yorick is just getting the tier 1s down on top and bot lane. And it lets you do some interesting Maiden plays. Uh, and get a lot more gold out of out of uh, setting Maiden in the side lane. Because what you want is like, like if I were on Camille's side right now, if I were, if Drake, Drake were up, I would send Maiden to farm this whole wave. And she would push all the way up to the tier 1 top. If my tier 1 top right now was down, she would push all the way to the tier 2. And she would be able to do so, so much farming for me. And if Drake's up, then I can run over to Drake. I can just kind of like hang around, throw some E's, throw some W's, be annoying. And as long as I don't die, I play, I play York in this very like AD caster way. And I find it works quite effectively. Yeah, on my main account, um, I have like a 57, 58%. At one point, it was closer to 62% win rate. And Grandmaster Plus, it's pretty good. Just how I like to play York. Cool, got Krugs. Go help Yi here, maybe. Ooh, okay. Ooh, baddie. We're not worried about the rift. We need to win the fight. Ah! Oh, that's not good. Tied it out. Fruit. Nice. One more E. Got her. Oh, okay. Woo! Life seal, baby. Let's go. I mean, Ari's absolutely cooked him. Good job, Ari. Again, just AD caster. That's all I was doing there. Uh, Camille probably has teleport. Like, looking around. Oh, there she is. Uh, I might be trolling a little bit. Oh, it's warded here. No. Oh, that was a bad. That was a bad ult. Oh, the, or the W. Oh, try to life seal. Yeah. Dang it! I don't like that. Losing maiden here. It's pretty bad. Get your two bids. I mean, this wave's in a pretty good spot for me. By the time I res, I can teleport top and collect the whole thing. Kind of lame though. I was hoping they didn't have a ward anywhere. I should have checked more with the sweeper. Also, I could have just played that a little bit better, I think. I think if I wall a little bit better, if I kite out a little bit better. I think there are ways I could, could have done that better. I could teleport by here. It looks like there's a big fight about to happen at Drake, but I would lose so much golden experience. I really don't want to do that. I like to, I like to play very much to my myself up until like, like third Drake, level 11. Just in general, that's kind of my play style. These ghouls up. Could be a could be a rift angle. The dead have 
Maybe I take their jungle angle? Oh, hello. Thank you. Oh, imagine if I hit that. Remember, she doesn't have flash, so. There, let's take the jungle. I think Lissandra will want to go bot side just because of the Drake spawning. Echo's also bot side right now. We see Lissandra bot, so it's just a pure 1v1 on the top side versus Camille. You just keep counter jungle, you keep farming. I think there's a ward out that got me killed earlier. Wait, what in Tarnation are you doing? Okay. I don't think she has a leg to stand on here, but she feels she does, so. Keep farming. I think with this Maiden coming up, I might want to go do Rift. I can't really threaten the tier 2 until I get full break room. Or Camille leaves. If Camille leaves, I could. Let those girls push. Let's go. I'm going to go get a Rift Herald. I think it's a good time to do it while everyone's still kind of prioritizing Drake. Echo's like diving or tier 2 bot or whatever. Use the Fruit to get some mana back. Your ghouls are so tanky to objective. Like, look at that. Look at that one dude. That dude's a warrior. He survived, too. The greatest ghoul. I'm gonna use this mid. Get this last plate. The wave. Nice. I'm mean, pushing top, but I think this is better for me. I think, especially if I get the turret. Be a little bit careful that people rotate over. I have ghosts though, so. Okay. Nice. I'll let these ghouls push mid, and then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate back to the top side. Collect this big wave. They're likely on Drake right now. And and like the beauty of rotating top is that if they rotate from Drake to mid to get me, then I'm pull I'm running away from their rotation, right? I feel like Camille's gonna get a few plates back. Not really a big deal. I just gonna get three plates? No shot. Ooh. She got the plate. Man. No. Not a good ghost. Not a good ghost. Sorry. Head back top. It's okay. I just I see Camille and I get like blood in my eyes. Like, I don't know. So so many years of that champion being overpowered. She's in a good state right now, but don't just don't fret, she'll return again. Just Ante's second her place is the ridiculously overtuned top lane champion that everyone plays. Hey, Krugs. Krugs up. Bam. Perfect 3k gold for Holebreaker. Beautiful farming. It's a beautiful sequence the last few minutes. I mean, we counter jungled, we got Rift, we got mid. Like, tons of good macro play. Kind of leveraging the uh, enemy team's focus on Drake against them. Because Camille can't stop me alone. Teleport coming up. I'm gonna keep working on the tier two top. If I can get that, I'll, I'll really escalate myself. Also got teleport. I could look for like a teleport bot for the tier one at some point, depending on where people end up. What's one more grave? This up. I shall perform your rights. Hello. There could be other people nearby. There's a ward there, okay. To clear our vision. Echo's bot side. Blue's about to be up. I have to be a little bit careful though. Okay, free ward for me. Take that. Putting wards like that is just so bad for, for Camille. Minus 75 gold for her, plus 30 gold for me. When you're behind, giving a 105 gold swing to the enemy top laner is just... And that's just running it down. I don't know where Camille. Oh, there you are. Oh, oh! If I if I got that off, I think I can get the turret. No, it's a kill if I like pin her in the wall. Even if I just land the W, it's a kill. Blood buff up? Oh dang! They took that quick. I didn't realize they rotated over to take him. Keep clearing out vision. That was another pink word that someone just put like a second ago. So they're putting a lot of pink wards into trying to to contest me, but they're not able to defend the pink wards. So it's just really bad, you know. Pink wards can be overhyped, and those last two pink wards were were just inting. I mean, you just gave me two hundred and ten gold swing from your team to my team. 
minus uh minus what is it 150 for them plus 60 for me i'm gonna try to teleport flank here they use both their flashes no you still have e oh oh my god hold on the freaking avengers are here yo watch out i'm just gonna hold the turret dang man Push this in. Try to get the turret, maybe? The turret's pretty low. I don't have a wave. The line just pretty low. Maybe someone overstays. The ruined king's allies shall fall with him. Wait for next wave. Again, we're so strong. I mean, we've got, we've, we're at two and a half items, basically. Mythic item, you can go Death Blade, you can go Eclipse. It kind of depends on how you want to play it. I, I typically like Eclipse a little bit more. I like the utility of it, the movement of it, the healing, the shielding. But Death Blade just gives you so much damage. Amp. Nice, easy turret. Keep pushing. If I get... Oh, oh okay. Alright. Hide it out. We got teammates coming up. Nice dodges. Nice. Oops. Oh my gosh, they're whole... Freaking here! Beautiful. Just beautifully done. I'm just pushing. I'm not going to chase her around. I mean, beautifully done. Kiting out abilities, dodging them, prioritize like getting the cues off when I could to heal up. Especially even on minions, I was getting minions. They they were really focused on getting me, and I just when when you're the target of focus, your goal isn't to amplify damage. Your goal is to do as much damage as you can while all, simultaneously dodging abilities. Ah, uh, nothing to farm. I'm gonna go farm wolves. My team should get Drake. I'm gonna get wolves. I mean, Rift is about to spawn. Rift is 10 CS per minute. Which is really, really good. No wolves? Dang. I'll play middle of them. Yeah, let's get Rift. Maybe we can get him. To most, life is fleeting. To me, it is quagmire. I'm, I'm hoping they, like, won't think I would do this. Ah, okay, whatever. Uh, like, Lissandra and Leon are nearby. Yeah, I just don't want to risk this. I'm just gonna go Krugs. Kind of annoying. Leon, I thought to check in. I've got a clip scold on back. It's really good. From Krugs again, just again. Maximizing farm. Everywhere I go, I'm farming whatever I can. I'll push it in. I'll go push that back out. Death used to mean something. You see, uh, oh, between Lifesteal... In overheal on my runes in the bottom right. I mean, overheal does so much on your. You get so much healing and shielding and so much. Just overheal. I'm gonna let the. Well, those ghouls push. I think there are two of them. I'll grab these. I'll reset. Every time we back, we have like 25 to 3k gold. It's so good. I love it. Yeah, I could go dust flat. I could go eclipse. I like Eclipse. I really like Eclipse just plays my style a little bit more on your. Uh, we could look to like maybe uh, Rift um, Maiden Top on next Drake. Like that's a possibility. If people are really threatening Baron, we could we could uh, Maiden Bot. We have options, but Drake's not up for another three minutes, and no one's really going to contest Baron. So it's it's likely just to hold on to Maiden for a few minutes. And then maybe at Drake we'll see what we'll see what the wave states are. It really depends on the wave state, you know. If like Camille pushed the wave and it's like pushing into my turrets, then it's a good time to throw a maiden. But if uh, if I push the wave all the way in and, and reset, then it's it's like an okay time to send maiden. Let's see if Camille overextends here. Ah, she's not going to. Keep farming. Working towards level sixteen. Seeing if they're cheesing me in this body, she's my sweeper. We got a warden. Cool. We use the the wall here just to be annoying if anyone's around. I'll mess with like the right clicks and stuff or their pathing. So it's sustaining 10 CS per minute. Me and me and Yi actually can shred Baron together if we want to try to sneak it. He's gonna hang out for for the scuttle crab. 
It's a like it's feeling like everyone's just gonna kinda wait for Drake, but maybe there's a fight. Oh, there's a fight burn. Okay. Running over. We got ghosts and eclipse, I'm feeling pretty good. I work to Let's see what's going on here. Ooh, okay. Uh oh. Let's kill Leona. Nice. We get more. Oh, this doesn't look great. Hide it out. Oh, my. Okay. Mmm, this Ash is actually doing work. Mm. Dang, I can't believe we lost that so hard. I guess Nyla was dead from the start, but... I feel like she's not a lot of our power, so I feel like we should have still been able to win. Maybe, maybe when Nyla goes down, I should have just uh, like pushed top or something. Hmm. I don't know that plays kind of awkward too, it's because they they're all top sides, so they can all rotate super easily. It's okay. Drake's up in a minute. Can't do much. Or like Maiden's gonna spawn around the time Drake spawns. We're just gonna go Krugs. Keep farming it up. Drake should be a big help, and you just. Slowing down Echo, slowing down Camille, slowing down Ash so we can stay on top of them. Help shred through Leona's tankiness. We're also getting close to level 16. Level 16 is a big spike on, on York because it basically means anytime you die, like Maiden's always up when you spawn. You know, you basically have all like full Maiden uptime uh, as long as they don't kill her randomly. Push this out. He kind of wants to do, like, a give Drake do Baron. I kind of like the call, but I like it. We just need to make sure we pull off that they come over here. Ah, uh, freaking Ash, man. We can pull it, but we just have to be careful. Yeah, we need to get off of this. That hit me. Okay, focus Leona down. Kite back. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna get aggro here. They're all gonna keep fighting. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna. Do, this is like a little, uh, you know, like a magician trick. Like, oh, look over here, and then you got the other hand doing all the work. I'm gonna teleport, get the end head. My team can do Baron. Uh, I wish my team was fighting them still. Dang. I think I could have ended if like my team just like chased these two down. But also giving up. But uh, are you male? Hey, get off my girl, yo. Go. My E, I need to solve for E. You minion? Yeah. I miss my E. But, but wait. Oh, oh, I thought minions would kill. Hey, what we'll played though? What we'll played? Punishing that Camille, going for Maiden. Little we'll jerk. Little we'll jerk. Don't hit Maiden. We've got Grudge now. Go for Black Cleaver, last item. Really, really nice. We're level 16 now. We're four item. We are so, so, so strong. I'm going to split bot with the with the top end of down. We're going to split bot with Baron. And uh, Hole Breaker to be really hard to shut us down. My team should just four man mid. Should be pretty pretty straightforward macro game. Top automatically pushes over time because the in inhibitor is down. But then we, we effectively have three lanes pushing in with Baron. I mean, how do you stop it? What the enemy team needs to do to stop it is like insta fight on either me or mid lane. Like, if me or or my team were out of sync, then they can just all bum rush us. From Krugs, wait for mid my team to kind of push mid in on this next wave. Up a little bit. All right, this is my beam. I overstayed. Ari's gonna clean up one kill. I don't know why my team like pushed mid in and then reset. That basically screws me over. Like my team pushed in mid and then Janna reset. Yi went up to Krugs and farmed Krugs. 
And Nyla's pushing top. It's so weird. It's just bad. Like this is this is just bad. Uh, there's literally no reason we don't four man mid and one man pot. So we're just stalling out the game. We're giving the enemy team an uh, an ability to come back in the game for for no reason. It's just it's just bad. But whatever. I do be like that. I can't uh, I can't force them to be mid. But I can judge them for not being mid. Ooh. I don't know why Leona's up like that. Really trolling. Run down. We'll run down and get Scuttle, and then we'll run bot. My god, look at that E healing. Sheesh. Nice. Push out bot. My team's pushing out mid and top. I'm a little bit behind. Not really my fault. I ran literally straight bot on spawn, so could not get here quicker. All right, they're cleaning up. This is good. I can get bot in heaven. Mid turret down. The three four on the maps really hard for them to do anything about that. Just hang out. I don't have to put myself in danger here. Just be annoying. Let my uh, ghouls do work in the in the cannon wave. They didn't get mid in him. Why not? Huh? What are they doing? Why are they resetting? Man. Why did they troll? Like Nyla, Janna, and Ari, it was a 3v... It was a 3v2 because I had Echo near me and two were dead. And they should have gotten triple inhib. But they, like, all three of them rotated top inhib for no... But it's not even up. Why aren't you three just hitting mid inhib? Because if you get... The, what you don't want to do here is get two inhibs down and let the enemy team farm them. Oh, how does... I was actually watching her clear the way, and I figured she'd run up towards Scruggs. So I went for like a sneaky play there. Or a cheeky play, rather. We got teleport. I'm gonna use that. We got my item. Yeah, what you don't want to do is like give the enemy team two in head. Uh, and then let them farm all the minions for a while. You want three in heads, and then you want to shut off the game. Like, team, why are we getting the in head? Oh, keep it, I'm just keep pressuring from bot and hope that opens up like an area for my team to do work. I'm gonna go just to help my movement to make sure I don't get uh, caught by anyone here. Dude, I'm doing so much. I'm 1v4 right now. I'm 1v4. Okay, we got mid in him though. That's good. Can we get top in him now? We gotta get top in him now. Yeah, we gotta get top in him now. I need some goose, some goodly goose. Yeah. We got an Ash here. Um, they're kind of losing right now. Not very good. I get the turret, nice. Maiden's almost up. I mean, just like, like that's exactly what I'm talking about. Like, very AD caster play style that I like to do. Very effective, very annoying. Yeah, I don't know how we didn't get top of it. But again, this is like exactly what we don't want. We, we are now going to give them time to farm two lanes of empowered minions with no real threat of losing. I'm going to keep trying to pressure. Oh, oh, how much health was that? On oh, him. No. Where are they? Oh, they died somehow. I'm dead. Dude, this game. This game is taking like five minutes longer than it should have. Now they're gonna give Drake. They're gonna give Drake. 
They're not gonna kill it in time. The enemy Echo's gonna get there. This is this is a really frustrating game. Very frustrating. Hmm. Yeah, this is rough. I mean, we just, you can't, you, when you get in hit, when you get two enemies out, you have to get the third end of it. That's literally all there is to it. And we had several opportunities. I just, I don't understand why they didn't do it. That's all right. The enemy team base is slowly crumbling. You see my overheal has shielded me for 13.5 thousand damage, which is pretty wild, I will say. Uh, likely Maiden bot here. They can also just run bot. For full build. Maiden could possibly solo, uh... What <laughs> Camille. <laughs> My team is not pressuring Baron, which is not what I like to see. I'm gonna pressure bot. Camille absolutely cannot stop me. They're going to have to send multiple people, and my team should be able to pressure Baron. Hello. Oh, we have friend. Oh, this is bad. They should get Baron, though. I was too far up. I didn't think they'd have uh, multiple people there. I didn't think they'd have those people there, at least. Okay, hold on. Let them cook. Nice Nyla R. Big Janna R. Beautiful. Good job. Good job. There we go, team. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Now we, we win. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. GG. That's all we needed. It was that easy. We should have done that five minutes ago. <laughs> oh, Shredder up. Nice. GG. Good macro game overall. Kind of annoying. Like, uh, that game took... You know, longer. Like I died a few times. Um, some of my fault. Some teammates' fault. Not not doing what they need to do when I'm dying. That go did a lot of work, but wasn't able to carry. Overall, I'm pretty happy with that game. I think I landed the Camille pretty well. I think I did some good macro game uh, optimization. Yeah. Just a co just a cozy York game. It's what it's what I do. Let's see. I think you did fine. I'm gonna use this this account for some York games. Top damage, overheal did a ton. Wait, overheal did less? Wait, it says there overheal did less than the 13k it said earlier. That's kind of weird. Look at the gold graph. Hey, yo, pull up the gold graph. Look at that gold. Like this. 20 minutes. What do we got? 20 minutes. 4K gold day at 20 minutes. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time.